Let's hear from our expert how odontology is used to solve crimes. Identification is the biggest part of the work of a forensic dentist. I've done individual identifications, whether it be car accidents, um, uh, victims of drownings, victims uh, involved in a train crash or an air crash. Bite mark cases have become a major contribution uh, of forensic dentistry in, in fighting crime. There's been some very high profile cases that have gone to court. William Bundy is one of the best known. He left bite marks on his, on his victims. The bite mark evidence was, uh, was a major part in, in his conviction. I've worked uh, on criminal bite mark cases. One of the first things that would be done on a victim would be taking DNA samples. Uh, if a person bites another person, you can't help but leave saliva. And in saliva, um, there are white blood cells, uh, there are slough cells from the inner lining of the cheek and the lips, and uh, those cells can provide enough DNA, sufficient DNA, to, to match to that individual. In one particular case, the child was the victim of an assault and had what uh, the medical examiner thought might be a bite mark and uh, later died. These are models of the suspect. These hard models are, are what we can use to um, uh, determine the unique features of the, of the uh, suspect's dentition and, and hopefully compare uh, those uh, unique features to the uh, marks in, in skin. You can see crowding of teeth and, and rotations of teeth, missing teeth. This eye tooth is out of the arch from the incisor next to it. And uh, as it turned out, yes, that was certainly a bite mark. And uh, the value of that type of evidence would be that uh, it certainly would place the two together and uh, assist in the crime, uh, solving the crime in that manner. The highlight of my career actually was uh, the opportunity to go to Thailand and, and help on uh, the identification of the tsunami victims.